Cage Minds, Micah Frankel. We got our guest at this time, Nico Montano. And she's co she's main eventing her first fight and her pro debut, King of the Cage Evolution. It's a lot to take in. How excited are you? Very, extremely. Um, I'm super grateful and happy to uh, to be the main event, especially following the UFC fights this past weekend. So. I'm pretty, pretty excited. Really right, how rowdy do you think the crowd's going to be? We have a couple champions that bring home titles this weekend. Yeah, yeah so keeping with that, I think Fit's going to go in there with their crowd and just bring it. <laughs> we have a lot of people fighting for Fit on this card. Um, Amanda's going to be coming event, so there's going to be two girl fights that are just going to be the top tier of this card. So what does that mean to you? Two ladies and you guys being teammates, top of the card, getting that kind of honor. Um, that means to me it's, you know, it's, uh, it's awesome. I'm very blessed and like I said, I'm humbled to have this opportunity. I'm grateful to have this opportunity. Um, she's been a really good training partner. Uh, she's a really good boxer, so I know that um, going into this fight with Stacey Sagala, because Stacey's trying to make her is going to make her boxing debut after this fight. I know that working with Amanda, that's going to help me out with this fight. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> and then, what do you take away from that amateur career? 5-0, and oh, I believe, five finishes. Not a whole lot of time spent in that cage in the five fights. What did you take away from all those wins and stoppages? Um, I took away just the feeling of getting over being nervous. Um, I know that I'm going to have the adrenaline dump. I know I'm going to go in there wanting to do things that maybe my feet and my hands aren't going to do right away. But I've learned to stay patient. Um, looking back hindsight, I'm able to see where what I needed to work on for this fight and see what I um, needed to round out in general, I guess, but specifically um, I need to work on my standing, obviously. I've been able to finish with subs or TKOs on the ground, so right now I'm feeling really, really good about my stand-up, and I hope to show that come Friday night. Is there one moment from that amateur run that sticks out to you most? Um, no. Uh, I guess my last fight, just because it's more recent, you know, it's more in my head. When I got that head and arm throw, it's not as awesome as I remember it to be watching it <laughs> on video, but I'm happy to have gotten it. Um, my goal pretty much is to get different takedowns every fight, and I've been able to do that. So if I can at least stick to one goal, if it's just different takedowns every fight, then and I'm able to, um, I'm able to succeed with those, then I know that I'm getting better. And I'm, I'm working my strategy more, and I'm able to stay calm and be able to trust in myself and in the techniques. Pro debut, main event, feeling any pressure, any nerves about this? Yes, yes. Like I mentioned the fights before this though, um, I'm definitely nervous. I'm, this is going to be my first time, my first pro fight, and I'm going to be main event. Um, Brenda came back with the belt. Holly and Rhonda duked it out this weekend, so I know that uh, I'm not going to be going in against any of those hardcore women, so that kind of settles my nerves, knowing that I'm going to go in and, and uh, fight Stacey Sabella. I'm not sure what her record is, but I know she can't be as tough as any of those girls. And then talking about Stacy, we know she's planning on making her pro boxing debut. So obviously, if there's one aspect of her game you've been aware of, has it been that boxing side? Yes, yes. Her boxing, I know she's done a couple of grappling tournaments before. Um, but with an MMA mindset, it's totally different, you know. there's It's mixed martial arts, so there's wrestling, there's kickboxing, there's Muay Thai, there's boxing, there's jiu-jitsu, there's everything, and anything could happen. So just knowing that helps, helps settle the point nerves also. We've talked about the dominance of your ground game. Has it just been striking, 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 trying to get used to that? Yeah, um, mostly, you know, we try to keep everything rounded out. We try to keep the general aspect of MMA on point in training. But isolating, striking, and boxing, um, having Brenda and having Amanda has definitely rounded me out with that aspect of my fighting. 
You've only been down here a couple months. What's it been like transitioning Colorado down to New Mexico? It's, uh, it, it was hard. It was definitely hard because I'd be able to use the excuse of being the only girl over at DMA. Um, and those guys work me for sure. They know what they're doing with their fighters. But being coming down here and just seeing how much heart that these women have. I'm all about W. Um, MMA and so seeing how much heart these women have and seeing their accomplishments and their goals has helped me to uh, reach mine and set new ones to overcome, you know, new so, boundaries I set for myself. As you're transitioning okay. to being a pro, tell us some goals. My transitioning to being a pro would be to um, be more patient. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it, being able to read the cage, read my opponent, and not run in and rush my takedowns and get on top. I'd like to be able to strategize a little bit more. I understand it's going to have to take a little bit more experience in order to do that, but getting in the time here with everybody, I think, is, is going to help me once I get in that cage Friday night. Friday night, what's the key to getting the, <coughs> getting the win? Um, staying calm. Um, and just trusting in myself. If I start to build it up by building her up, then I can start to um, get overwhelmed and maybe frustrate myself once I'm in there. But if I just stick to actual techniques and learn basic defenses, learn basic offenses for just the techniques, then I'm good. And then, what's the message for the fans? I want to thank everybody. Um, who supported me through my amateur career, who's supporting me through my pro debut. Um, I couldn't have done it without you. All my, all my sponsors, Review Buzz, Unleashed Sports, Corey hooked it up. He's taught me about nutrition. You know, everyone from DMA and CrossFit to Rico, Review Buzz, I think I said that, Anthony DeLorenzo. Um, yeah, and everyone from Farmington, Phoenix, Arizona. I have a big Navajo and Mexican family, so all of my relatives, I thank you. And, it, and then how do the fans follow you on the social media? Facebook. I try to keep up with my Twitter, but mostly Facebook. I have a fan page going, so find me on there. You come on time with me. King of the Cage, Evolution, Friday night, Sheridan Uptown. We'll see you all there.